Dave, this is one of two locations in the city of Detroit. We're on the west side in front of New Providence Baptist Church. There's another one on the east side. And take a look in these final hours. This is a busy place. These people sitting in their cars are casting their ballots. I'm going to walk you through the process in a minute. This is a test drive by City Clerk Janice Winfrey. And take a look as you can see the voters throughout the day today. She did this because the poll workers here actually raised safety concerns in the middle of, pand of the pandemic. Remember, Detroit was an early hot spot here in March. There are three steps here. You drive into the first tent. Now, they're going to tell you if you're in the right precinct. There are actually three precincts here. The second stop, they take your driver's license or other ID. A runner will run it inside, check it against the voting computer. If you're good, they bring you out a ballot. You mark it in your car, and then the voters actually walk it in the door and run it through the scanner so there are no allegations of any switcheroos or fraud. The scanner also indicates if the ballot is spoiled, like Carolyn said, you cannot split your ticket, vote Democratic and Republican. You must vote, vote one or the other in the primary. The voters here seem to like it. I enjoyed it. I was able to pull in, register at one spot, come in, a person came and took my information, filled it, filled it out for me, brought it back to me. I was able to write my my vote down, and then take it in and cast my vote. When I saw it, I was like, okay, it's, it's easier. And they helping us out a lot and making it much quicker. It was comfortable, it was organized, and um, it was actually a pleasure to vote. And City Clerk Janice Winfrey says this is a pilot program. If this works out well, they may expand it in the November general election. And I can tell you, we have one first time voter here. We're going to talk with her and have more from her for you next hour at 7. Live on the West Side, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Wow.